But let's say that you have finally decided to start hosting on Airbnb and you get on Airbnb's website or you get on the app and you look at wherever you're at that you're living, you know, it could be anywhere as long as they're flexible with the Airbnb regulations. And you start scrolling through and you see a ton of competition. You see just an endless, you know, array of properties and listings. And you think to yourself, how the heck am I gonna compete against all of these people? In today's video, I'm going to share what I did, a little tiny trick that I implemented in my listing and my occupancy rate is now above the local average. What's going on guys, my name is Robert. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a little tip and it has a lot to do with how often you get booked. And I think it's a very important step that you can't overlook when starting this business. So when I first started doing all the research to start my Airbnb business, you know, I was like doing the market analysis, I was looking at all the properties, that I would be going up against and I was seeing like what they had, what they didn't have and what I could implement in my own property to stand out. And what I really noticed was all of these listings, they all had similar characteristics as far as, you know, how they were set up, what they look like. There wasn't anything that really stood out to me. And I thought to myself at that moment, I was like, what can I do to stand out against my competition? So I live in Springfield, Missouri. And as I'm looking through all the listings in Springfield, Missouri, I happen to notice that they're all they all have similar characteristics as far as like how they're set up, the interior design, you know, what they're offering. The reason I chose different is because, as you all know, it's always the ones who are creative, innovative, who always are going against the grain. Those people seem to find success one way or another. And what I decided to do, I looked at all the boring average style properties and I decided to add a little twist to my own property. We gave the property a tropical theme. We even went as far as to including that in the copy, in the title of the listing. So everything else, you know, is simple, like on the Airbnb website, it's like, oh, you know, your everyday ordinary listings. And then we decided to make it like a little retreat, even though it's a super small property, even though it is in the middle of Springfield, Missouri, like completely landlocked, uh, surrounded by, you know, like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with what Springfield looks like. There's nothing pretty here. We actually went out and we bought a bunch of live plants and it reminded me, you know, sort of like of a nice little getaway retreat with lots of greenery and we kept it simple, right? Because what I noticed from all the Springfield properties is that they all had all this clutter. They all decided to do like their own interior design and they would hang up you know, all these little paintings and artwork. At this point, moving forward with all of my properties, I'm going to be adding the same look so they'll be associated with my listings, with you know my properties in general. I think you guys should look for something like that to, you know, sort of latch onto and move in to this business with something like that in mind. Another thing that I've added to my property is an aquarium, and this is not just a typical you know fish tank, you know, throw a goldfish in there. This is actually like a professionally designed aquarium that is super beautiful. And I really think it's a piece of art in that property. And we decided not to hang up anything on the walls. We decided to keep it as simple as possible. I think that way it's like a minimalistic look. Live plants in the greenery really go a long way. And we've had reviews. We've had guests say how much they love the plants. And we've even had guests say that they booked because of the plants. That little tiny trick that we implemented in our listing happened to go beyond our expectations. You know, like we knew it was different because after looking through all the listings in my area, I noticed that nobody else had anything similar to that. They all had, you know, the typical, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just like your typical furnished property. Boring. There wasn't anything special. There wasn't really anything eye catching. And so with, you know, a little bit of creativity, like a hint of creativity, not much. For all of you guys that are like, dude, I'm not creative. I can't, I can't come up with stuff like that. Don't worry because it doesn't have to be that out there. It just has to be a little bit different. So when people are scrolling through Springfield, Missouri and they notice, hey, there's this tropical retreat, this tropical listing, they're gonna be like, okay, this is different. You know, this is the first thing we've seen of its kind. So it stands out and it probably has reason to do with us performing better than the overall booking rate in Springfield. So there you have it. When you're deciding how are you gonna set up your Airbnb and how are you gonna furnish it and design, uh, do all the interior design, just do something a little bit different than, whenever, than what everyone else is doing so it stands out. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Be sure to stand out, be creative, always use your innovation and your mind to help better yourself in whatever it is you're doing. With that being said, if you liked the video, then be sure to leave a like and share with anyone that you thought could use this information or that you think could use this as valuable information and apply it in their own lives. And 
If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when I upload my videos. And I'll see you guys all next time.